Hey guys, happy holidays! Now I know nothing symbolizes the festivity of the holiday season like a good bottle of wine beside you. I know that there are going to be much less parties this year, but I know some of you still want to make that special occasion and perhaps have a gathering of maybe just a few of your closest friends or relatives. That's why I wanted to share with you the top value wine that you can get here in Manila for under 400 pesos or $8. Now I know the topic of wine is very intimidating. In fact, I myself was not sure I was going to push through with this. Bear in mind, I'm not an expert, but what I wanted to share here with you are great value wines that you can enjoy and it may elevate your meal or even your drinking and maybe that experience that you're looking to share with your closest friends and family. Without further ado, my top three favorite wines under 400 pesos. Let's, let's open up all the bottles. And guys, I'm also going to be using three different glasses today because I, I tend to mix these things up. So I'm going to be using different glasses per bottle. The first wine that I'm recommending is from the Paydoc region in France. And it's a Merlot branded as Seduction by Masson Guillot or from the House of Guillot. A 2019 vintage. The color is ruby red bright maroon if you can call it that the aroma has hints of of smoke berries kind of woody so the aroma reminds me of a little bit like barbecue uh, for some reason i'm thinking of uh, racks ribs this merlot actually tastes a little heavier but it's a little bit more dry than your typical merlot so i like it mm. Right now, I'm getting hints of raisin and and fruit cake, if you can believe that, for your noche buena or your holiday meals. Um, it may pair well with red sauce pastas, with your sweet ham, racks ribs, like I said earlier. I think it would also pair well with some barbecues. So this wine comes at 361 pesos from Santi's Delicatessen. For, with the branches all over Metro Manila. So let's move on to the second wine, a Tempranillo wine from the Castilian region of Spain. It's simply named Tapas Tempranillo, so you already know that this may pair well with meats and small dishes. It comes from the winery of Marques de la Concordia. Tempranillo is actually similar to Merlot in that it's a medium-bodied red wine. This one has a more fragrant, uh, flowery type of scent. For some reason, it reminds me of titas <laughs> uh, at Christmas parties with perhaps their straw perfume. So very aromatic, uh, very floral. Between the Merlot and this Tempranillo, this has an, a slightly stronger hint of licorice, cherry, blackcurrant. To be honest, I kind of like the Merlot better. I think this one would pair better with salty ham, your queso de bola. So this Tempranillo cost me 394 pesos, also from Santi's Delicatessen. So for our third bottle, I'm recommending to you something from the New South Wales region of Australia. As a side note, there are actually a lot of good wines that come from Australia and good value wine. I actually drink um, a lot of Australian wine because of just the good value. I mean, I'm quite cheap when it comes to that. So, so Spain and France are actually old world wine, so Australia would be part of the new world wines. A blend of Shiraz and Cabernet Sauvignon. This is a 2018 vintage uh, under the Chain of Fire brand. And this is supposed to be meatier, more full-bodied, full-bodied wines would be of the Shiraz and Cabernet Sauvignon variety and a blend of them would be definitely interesting. So what I like about Cabernet or Shiraz is that there's a very strong aftertaste. You start to appreciate the wine more as you let the flavors linger. Good balance. It's actually a good blend, really good blend of, of, of the flavors. It makes me want to eat meat. Maybe it's the third uh, glass of wine we're having here, but if earlier the Merlot I said it might work with some light grilled meat, 
This one would be like a buttery meat, pan seared steak, you know, like something something heavy. If you're talking uh, holiday, maybe a roast beef, a lengua, a callos, um, the Shiraz Cabernet from Chain of Fire. If I had to pick one amongst the three, this would be my winner. Uh, of course, I'm I'm recommending all all these three here right now. But this one has a good balance of oak, of berries, of tobacco. So it definitely has a good mix of all that. Like nothing is really rising above one another, and that's characteristic of Australian uh, Shiraz, Australian Cabernet Sauvignon that I really like. So. This one I got from Marketplace, formerly called Rustans, and it cost me 399 pesos, so just right below 400 pesos. But I think um, this is this is really good, guys. I hope that you've liked this short video. I hope that you get to try one of these wines in your holiday festivities. If you've liked this, I intend to do a part two of this video, maybe perhaps even in a lower price range variant, or maybe a slightly higher price range. I'm happy to know what you think. If this is something that's interesting to you, let me know in the comment section because I'd love to share more if you'd let me. Thanks guys, I'll see you again next time. Cheers!